currently there are close to 120 million motorcycles in Indonesia, two wheels, right? And we are at the stage of really uh, transition from the motorcycles using the fuel going to EV. Now the EV target that is stated for the government for this year is close to 200,000 units and will ramp up uh, to close to 800,000 or 1 million in two or three years time. So this is a critical uh, time for Indonesia to have the transition. And this is why uh, IBC was formed to have the uh, downstreaming of the nickel resources, but also to drive on the downstream sector, which is actually we start with the two wheels EV. We do have four wheels EV uh, production in Indonesia already, but I think massively uh, the two wheels EV will, will be the one which will start uh, uh, the, the um, transition. Mr. Zagora, this is JP Ong. One of the sticking points, whether it be two-wheeler or four-wheeler, though, is the affordability by the end user in Indonesia. Now, it's a big market, about 270 million people by last count. But again, incomes perhaps not exactly conducive towards buying EVs that still, some people might say, are still a bit prohibitive or, or they're prohibited from buying given their, their wage levels. Um, what do you think needs to happen to make EVs, whether they be two-wheeler or four-wheelers, actually, more affordable to the average? Average Indonesian. Do you have a view on that, sir? Yes. So uh, I think at this moment, uh, the government is uh, already giving uh, incentive uh, for the two wheels EV, which uh, equivalent to about 500 US dollars. And that is a significant one because this is around 30 to 40 percent uh, of the cost. And this is basically is the battery uh, price, correct? So having this kind of um, government push and also not just the two wheels EV, there is a 10% uh, tax reduction for the four wheels EV, which can really sums up to uh, quite a lot. Uh, let's say for the Ionic 5, uh, here in Indonesia, it sells for around uh, 800, 800 uh, million rupiah. So with the 10%, there's an uh, almost um, 8 million rupiah, 80 million rupiah of incentive. So giving this kind of incentive uh, early on to the two wheels and four wheels EV will be also uh, very pushing the EV, EV adoption. The other one is also from the infrastructure side. Our uh, shareholders, PL and the Indonesian state electricity company is massively deploying the charging station and also the battery swapping station for two wheels. So I think this is uh, two things that is really um, giving the affordability for the Indonesian people to adopt the EV uh, for especially for two wheels uh, at this moment.